the dramatic surge is blamed on three countries, Iran, Pakistan and Saudi Arabia, who were responsible for almost 90 percent of the 1,634 people officially recorded as executed in 2015. Amnesty did not include executions from China as the true extent of the number of people put to death remains a state secret. The rights group said that China remains the world's top executioner. In Saudi Arabia, executions rose by 76 percent last year. At least 158 people were put to death. Most were beheaded, but authorities also used firing squads and sometimes displayed executed bodies in public. Saudi caused an international outcry when in January 2015 it announced it had executed 47 people on terrorism offences. The dramatic rise in executions that we recorded in 2015 was down to huge increases, primarily to huge increases in just three countries, Iran, Pakistan and Saudi Arabia. Together these three countries accounted for almost 90 percent of all the executions that we recorded in 2015, again excluding China. In Pakistan, the civilian death penalty moratorium was lifted for terrorism offences after the December 2014 Peshawar school massacre. Amnesty recorded that 320 people were sent to the gallows last year, Pakistan's highest number ever. The Saudi Arabian authorities suggest that these executions are carried out to fight terror and safeguard security. But it's clear that they're also using the death penalty in the name of counter-terror to settle scores and crush dis dissidents. The number of people Iran put to death jumped by 231 last year to 977 people. It is one of the world's last executioners of juveniles, which is in breach of the international law. Pakistan, most of the executions weren't of people who were convicted of terrorism-related offences. In Iran, we're concerned that the justification of combating extremism or terrorism is actually being used um, as a cover to target dissidents. So you've got to look at what the countries are actually doing as well as what they say they're doing. Amnesty said the top five executioners in the world in 2015 were China, Iran, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia and the United States of America in that order. The group did note that America was making progress. It carried out 28 executions last year, its lowest number since 1991. The rest of the world is gradually turning its back on the death penalty. Last year, four countries, Fiji, Madagascar, Republic of Congo and Suriname, abolished the punishment. The Americans and other governments, we call on those governments that support abolition of the death penalty to be much more vocal about its use and very vocal about spikes in its use, this, this horrific loss of life that we're seeing in countries that are using the death penalty at frankly unprecedented rates and that includes Saudi Arabia, Iran and Pakistan. For the first time ever, the majority of the world's countries, 102, have now fully abolished the death penalty. Goren said those still pursuing the death penalty are becoming increasingly isolated and that the trend to abolish executions should continue around most of the world, which Amnesty hopes will put pressure on the big five who are responsible for most of the state-sponsored killings. The countries that use the death penalty are isolated. That those that have been using it at such unprecedented rates are very isolated in a world where the majority of countries are turning the back on the death penalty. So what we see for the future is definitely more abolitions. More and more countries will fully abolish the death penalty. We see already a number of countries very far on that road. But we are concerned that the countries that are using the death penalty in such a a shocking way, so many people executed during 2015. We are concerned that that will continue. We're very concerned, for example, that we'll see a continuation in Pakistan. So obviously, we'll be pressing the authorities there very hard to move back from the place that they've gone to. Vanessa Knight, MTV World News.